Good morning children. Welcome back to online classes. Today I am going to explain the new method using an example. Okay. Suppose in a basket full of apples like this. Okay. We have so many apples are like this. Then if I am going to check whether the apples are good or rotten. For that if I am taking one apple. Okay. Then I just check. Then again I have taken another apple for checking. If both the apples are good. Then I can give my conclusion that the basket full of apples are good. Okay. If that is so. Then that kind of method is called inductive method. Okay. Sometimes the conclusion may be wrong. Okay. This is logically true because I have taken one apple. It is good and I have taken another apple that is also good. So I am giving in conclusion that all the apples are good in the baskets. Okay. Sometimes that is it is logically true. Sometimes it may not be true. But this is called inductive method. Okay. So that is the thing we are going to learn. I am going to give you one more example. Okay. What is an induction method? Suppose a person is going to move from uh, that is just climbing on the stairs. Okay. So first we are going to take he just to take the first step. If he is taking the first step in mathematically we are having that is the first step. So n is equal to 1. Then we are assuming that he climbed the steps. Okay. First I just assure that he climbed the first step. If he climbed the first step then I assumed he just climbed some more steps. Okay. So then I am going to check again. Suppose he moved to 6 steps. Okay. Then I am checking whether he move on to the seventh step. Okay. That is the next one. That is taken as what I have assumed. That is taken as K. And what I am going to prove the next step is K plus 1. If that is also true. Then I can give the conclusion that. That person climbed the steps. That is upstairs. Or climbed to upstairs. So as like. We can say that if it is true for k plus 1, then we can say that it is true for all the values of n. Right? Now, let me do some problems in that. Okay? The first problem is by the principle of mathematical induction, prove that for 1 square, 3 square, etc., 2n minus 1 the whole square is equal to n into 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 3. So this is the one we have to prove. So that means step by step. Can you remember the three things we have to do? First I have to give it is true for 1 and I am assuming for k and I am proving for k plus 1. If all these three things are true then I am suggesting that it is true for all the values of n. That is he finished his work. Okay. As like for solution we are going to take let the given equation as p of n. I am just taking as it is. I am not going to make any changes. p of n is equal to the given one. Now where I am in the first position. So I am going to take at n is equal to 1. So I am going to substitute n is equal to 1 in this equation. So p of 1 is equal to left hand side. The first term alone we have to take. Therefore the first term is 1 square. Then what is the right hand side? I have to substitute that value. So if I am substituting n is equal to 1 in that. Then I am getting 1 equal to 1. So LHS is equal to 1 and RHS is also equal to 1. Therefore I can conclude that P of 1 is true. So my first one is true. Okay. Moreover we can uh, think some more examples. Even if, while you are cooking. Okay, so your mom can take only one rice and then she just check whether it is um, that is uh, it is eatable or not. Okay, if it is then we can leave it. Okay, or else 
if we want we can check one more we will not check all the rises from the pan okay so as like that we are proved the first one now let us assume that we are assuming assume that the result is true for n is equal to k that means the person climbed some more steps okay so then p of k is equal to we are in the place of n i am just substituting k in the question i am just substituting the value of k right so we substituted now we have to prove that this is equal to true that is n is equal to k plus 1 is true so for that we are separating lhs and rhs first i am going to take rhs because rhs is very easy to prove because the nth term is given to us is that clear children therefore i am taking the rhs so rhs what is p p of k plus 1 we are taking that is equal to rhs is k into 2k minus 1 2k plus 1 divided by 3 in which i am substituting k is equal to k plus 1 therefore i will get k plus 1 2 into k plus 1 because 2k minus 1 so 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 now take the 2 inside and simplify you will get an answer like this therefore from this what is my right side k plus 1 2 k plus 1 2k plus 1 k plus 3 e divided by 3 this is my rhs now what i have to do i have to prove for lhs so i am taking lhs what is given in lhs 1 square plus 3 square plus etc in the place of k what should i substitute k plus 1 because i have selected k plus 1 the term right therefore we are taking 2 into k plus 1 so the if i multiplying the 2 inside then i will get 2k plus 1 the whole square now the last term is 2k plus 1 so what could be the previous term here you just look at 1 3 5 7 all the numbers are odd numbers therefore we have to reduce by 2 therefore it becomes 1 square plus 3 square plus the previous term is 2k minus 1 the whole square plus 2k plus 1 the whole square but 1 square plus 3 square etc till 2k minus 1 the whole square what is that already we assume that the result is true for that i am taking k into 2k minus 1 into 2k plus 1 divided by 3 plus that 2k plus 1 the whole square from these two terms shall we take 2k plus 1 outside so i am taking that is outside then this is my remaining terms okay now i am going to take lcm if i am taking lcm i am just taking that 3 to the uh, multiplication of 2k plus 1 then i will get the quadratic equation like this i am just simplifying this quadratic equation so 2 3s are 6 then i need to get 5 so 2 times 3 times because i started from 2 therefore 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 then i can cancel this then i will get the value as k plus 1 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 divided by 3 that is my rhs so since it is true we can say that lhs is equal to rhs so p of k plus 1 is true therefore the result is true for all the values of n is greater than or equal to 1 is that clear children so the same procedure we are going to do one more problem so using the mathematical induction prove that for any natural number n these things will be that is 1 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 so this is the given one what is the first step i have to take p of n is equal to the question so i am taking p of n is equal to the given question now what is the next one in the first step so i am going to take n is equal to 1 i am just substituting n is equal to 1 so what is the first term 1 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 i am substituting n in the rhs value so if i am substituting that then i will get 1 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 so my lhs and rhs are equal therefore i can say that p of 1 is true so then what is the second step second step i proved 1 then i have to assume so let us assume that the result is true for n is equal to k so now i have taken in the place of n i am substituting the value as k so i am substituting that as p of k then i will get the value like this here i have to prove that this is the third step n is equal to k plus 1 so for n is equal to k plus 1 what is the rule i have to take only 
the RHS first. So I am taking RHS. What is the RHS given here? P of K plus 1 is K plus 1. Yes, in the place of K, I have to substitute K plus 1. So K plus 1, K plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 into K plus 1 plus 1 and here we can substitute K plus 1 plus 2. Now if I am simplifying, I am getting the right side value like this. So this is my RHS. Then what is the next thing? I have to take LHS. So I am taking LHS. What is LHS? 1 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 plus 1 divided by 2 into 3 into 4 plus etc. It is in the form. So now K is substituted by K plus 1 here also. After we are substituting that, we are taking the previous term. So that means you can take the last step of K also. You can include that. Now till then what is the value? We assumed the result is true till n is equal to K. So for that I am substituting K plus 1 into K plus 4 divided by 4 into K plus 2 into K plus 3. What is the left out term? That newly uh, obtained term K plus 1. So 1 divided by K plus 1 into K plus 2 into K plus 3. Now I am going to take LCM. So if I am taking LCM all these things will be the denominator. In the first one K plus 1 is missing. So we are multiplying that by K plus 1. So if I am multiplying that then I will get a cubic equation in the numerator. If I am solving those cubic equations by synthetic division then I can get the answer is like this. What is this? This is my RHS. So LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore I can say that P of K plus 1 is true. So what is the general conclusion? I proved N is equal to 1 is true. And I proved, I assumed N is equal to K is true. Now I proved K plus 1 is true. Therefore I can say that it is true for all the values of natural numbers N. Okay. Now let me see one more problem in that. Okay. Use induction to prove that n cube minus 7n plus 3 is divisible by 3 for all natural numbers n. So the question itself they will give you using induction, using mathematical induction. Okay. So now what we have to do? I have to take p of n is equal to that is the first step. As usual I am taking. Now what I have to do? I have to check for n is equal to 1. Yes, very good. So I am taking n is equal to 1. If I substituted, then here there is no LHS RHS, right? I have only the equation. So I am substituting in that equation. If I am substituting, I am getting the result is equal to 3. Is that divisible by 3? Yes, it comes in 3 table. Therefore, that is I am getting minus 3 even we can get it as minus 1. So which is divisible by 3. So P of 1 is true because what is my question? n cube minus 7n plus 3 is divisible by 3. Yes, I substituted n is equal to 1. It is divisible. Therefore, that is equal to true. Now what I have to do? I have to assume. So let us assume that the result is true for n is equal to k. That means P of k is equal to just to substitute n is equal to k which is divisible by 3. So what I am going to do here is since it is divisible by 3 it gives me only the multiplication of 3. Therefore I am taking this term is equal to some 3 lambda. From this I am taking k cube and push all the other terms to the RHS. Now I am going to prove n is equal to k plus 1. So I am going to substitute in the place of k k plus 1. So now what is the expansion of k plus 1 the whole cube? a plus b the whole cube therefore k cube plus 3k square plus 3k plus 1 and I am multiplying these things so minus 7k minus 7 plus 3 this is my expansion okay so now I am just taking it again one more time now what is the value of k cube already I have taken k cube equal to 3 lambda plus 7k minus 3 so now I am going to substitute that over here if I am substituting the 7k and minus 7k gets cancelled, minus 3 and plus 3 gets cancelled. Therefore, I am getting 3 lambda plus 3k square plus 3k minus 6. You just look at all these values, 3 is common. So, I am taking 3 as common. If I am taking 3 as common, then I will get a value like this. Is that divisible by 3? Yes, because it is a multiple of 3. Therefore, I can divide it by 3. So, P of K plus 1 is true. So, first thing, N is equal to 1 is true. 
I assumed it is true for n is equal to k. Now I proved n is equal to k plus one is also true. Therefore, what is the conclusion? The result is true for all the values of all the natural numbers. Okay, all the values of n as a natural number, it is true. Okay. Today we are going to look about an interesting mathematician that is Leonard Fibonacci. He invented Fibonacci sequence in the 13th century. A sequence that is created as the sum of two preceding numbers is called a Fibonacci sequence. Okay, like this that is 0 plus 1 gives me 1, 1 plus 1 gives 2, 1 plus 2 gives 3, 3 plus 5 gives 8. Like that it will go like this and it is an infinite sequence. Okay, so now. Uh, we can see the Fibonacci series is like this. So that is if we represented on a graph, it looks like this. But we can identify this shape in nature. That is we may have a flower like this. Just look at a Fibonacci series in that. And another sunflower shell and a web like this. Okay. So today's practice problems which is from exercise 4.4 problem number 1 6 and 13 do these three problems in your class work thank you children